Streaming is a serious headache to get into. Everybody tells you that you need this, you need that, you need to get this, you need to buy that, you need everything, you need nothing. But don't worry, I'm going to show you today the serious basics on what you need to start streaming. So there's not much I'm going to show you in this video. It's literally just to start you up enough to create content. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can go about it. One is super, super simple. So let me show you our first option, shall I? Streamlabs. I know, I know if you've heard, but you know what? Ignore what people say. They don't matter when it comes to what you want to do. If this is the way you want to do it, I've added, it. but to download it, all you have to do is go over this pretty little download Streamlabs button, connect your Twitch and you'll come up with this. You'll have this chat box ready. It'll be collapsed, but you can open it. You can change the layout down here in layout editor. You can change the way it looks. You can change what goes where it's, a, it's actually very, very easy to use. Now I have an in-depth video on this, so if you want to know how to set it up, right up there. But to brush over it, I'm going to add a scene here and call it starting. We're going to add a source. I'm going to make it an image and call it image. And ta-da, I'm going to right click. Transform, fit to screen. Done. I have a scene set up. That's not what I would use to stream or anything, but I have a scene set up. Now I do recommend you at the least have like something, you know, to capture, whether it's full screen of you or if it's a game you're playing or whatever you may be doing. But I do recommend at least two sources. I would highly recommend three to include a mic, but however you do it is up to you. I'm just here to show you how to do it. Now, the nice thing about Streamlabs is everything is here. Everything you need, your chat box, your scenes, your sources, your feed, your mixer. And again, you have more tools like right over here that you can use. It's amazing. The only thing that you need to set up outside of this is CloudBot. And all you do is go to your dashboard that you downloaded it from, go to CloudBot click this little switch it'll turn this greenish color and go into your chat and type slash mod streamlabs triple quadruple check your spelling trust me you don't want to mod the wrong person i've been waiting for the day that somebody has an account called streamlab or something to try to be mod in people's chat and all that spell it right trust me you'll do it the first time and they have all these down here, caps protection, symbol protection, link, word, paragraph, emote. They're all really nice. And granted, Twitch moderation has this built in, but it's pretty cumbersome and it's a bit awkward. It's not terrible, but it's not great. This is just a flip of a switch of what you want on and you're done. You can do preferences, but honestly, default, default's fine. Option two, if you're a little more comfortable with computers, because the first option with Streamlabs is actually a bit restrictive because what Streamlabs has is about 90, 95% of what you can use. That's it. There's very few plugins that work with it, but with OBS here, it's not much harder to set up and it's so much worth it when you get more comfortable with like computers and OBS and plugins and all that, trust me, download the installer, you download it. I know, I know it's pretty bland. It's not no Streamlabs, all this fancy stuff, but we got to work with what we got and tell you what, I can turn this into Streamlabs. Maybe not that pretty green, but we can make it work the same, bet you. But we're going to start off doing the same thing here. This is how similar OBS and Streamlabs is. Add a scene. We're going to call this starting. We're going to add a source. We're going to add an image. Okay. Boom. Right click. Transform. Fit to screen. Done. Both of those took just as long as each other to set up. 
that's it now as you can probably already tell there's no fancy chat box you can't log in with twitch besides to stream through the settings which you do have to go to settings and stream and connect your twitch we got a core here and we can work with it we can build off of it but i'm telling you all you have to do is go to your creator dashboard your stream manager and go to your chat click the little three dot thing and pop it out when you pop it out you'll get a little link up here copy that link go up here to docs i don't want to click it because i don't want to show you mine but custom browser docs i know this window will look daunting trust me it's super simple take that url that you copied paste it in the right box give it a name in the left like if it's your chat just call it chat for yourself and you can keep doing that you can do that with your quick actions here you can do it with reward cues you can do it with whatever pop out you want copy the link and name it accordingly and then what you'll do it'll likely add it by itself once you add it to the docs but just this is my ad manager my chat my activity feed and my dashboard this is typically how i have mine set up so that's like enough of a border to be equal so you're not like wasting space like like this or something yeah you have all the information you really need i would normally drag this up that's all you need so this isn't just streamlabs now this is better but if you have a keen eye you probably realize we're still missing something pretty big too operation that is where our friend either twitch you can do it internally with twitch again but you can also use stream elements here you log into stream elements the same way as you do stream labs you just connect to twitch and that's it there's no fancy crazy setup or anything and you're done you can choose here what to turn on and off you can change preferences of how you want moderation to be done but Turn on, turn off, and you're done. Set it up how you want. So now you have two choices of platforms, both of them with good moderation, along with Twitch. I actually use it with Twitch. They both work very, very similarly. There's a very sparse difference between the two. Some people will tell you that Streamlabs uses about half your resources, but if Streamlabs uses your half your resources, you're not running a game on it. Better yet, streaming at all. Just to be clear, Streamlabs used about like 6% and I think OBS uses like four and both of them, they didn't have the same scenes, but they both had packed scenes. So a very sparse difference, but either way, that is all that I got for you guys today. Hopefully this was clear and simple enough for you. If not, leave a comment down below and tell me to get myself straight, I guess. Hope this video made you confident enough to start streaming. And I hope to see you guys live. Have fun. Stay safe. Over and out. Wait till you see my share about video. You're gonna love that one.